Hey there viewers, Sunga2009 with another video, computer video. <laughs> I am a computer geek after all. <laughs> Here I have a Dell Optiplex, Dell Optiplex 320, running an Intel Pentium 4 hyperthread technology. Um, it does have two gigs of RAM and a possibly a DVD CD drive. I'm not sure because there, because as you can see, there's no label. But again, if it's not in, if none of them, yeah, if it's none of them, well, guess what? We're putting a DVD CD rewritable on this computer as soon as I get them all. That'll be great. Anyway, let's get started. Well, the reason why I have this computer like this, and I'm on the side, I have an old graphic card still laying here, and I think it will work very well. It's a ATI Radeon... I don't know if you all can see it. It's a X600 Pro PCIe 512 megs. Not much today's standard, but it will do fine. It's really an old gr gaming graphic card. I, I probably should have put that in the old Del Vostro. Swap out. You know what? That's not a bad idea. I could do that. I could do that. I've never tried it before. You know what? Let's give it a shot. I'll be right back. Okay. I popped out a graphic card out of that uh, Dell Volstro. <coughs> the candle comes off. Now I'm installing it onto this uh, duplex computer. Oh, I'm really loving this, uh... I'm really loving this thing. This is awesome. I love this phone. It's a, uh... By the way, it's an LG Stylo 2. I love their, uh, camera. Camera feature where you can use the, um... LED to see in the dark. What phone does that, man? I mean, that's awesome. I like that. My other phone couldn't do that. I had to use the Google version of it just to see in the freaking dark. Can you call that fair? I call that unfair, man. That's it. That's all we need. And then now we just snap this on. So we'll get right in. Alright. Oh, I want to note to everyone, yes, Windows 7 is already installed on here. On these two hard drives. So, total will be 160 altogether, but it's alright. Uh, I think it will still do very well. Now... Let me go ahead and plug everything in and we'll get started. Be right back. Just for proof, to think you, if you guys think I'm a liar, I installed Windows 7. Here, here's proof of it. Oh. Come on. Oh, Lord. Hold on a second. You want to Now we're going to run into a driver 
booster. I'm pretty sure I installed it for a reason. It should detect the graphic card. If not, I'll automatically look for it online. I know this is an ATI graphic card. Here we go. I'm hoping it will. Gosh, I love this camera. The LG phone is amazing. Too bad Samsung couldn't do this. Those of you who are wondering about the lines, yeah. Well, that's just a loose connection inside of the screen. I'm not going to worry about it. That's something I can try to fix later. I tried to hit it in. It didn't. I'm going to update it now. Oh, continue update. I don't need no Pro Series or whatever. It should do well. Oh, AF means autofocus, no wonder. Yeah, I can't do anything about that bright light. I try to uh, maneuver it a little bit, but uh, oh, yeah, oh. Downloading the driver. It should install it, and that's it. As you can see, the AMD driver is being installed, which means this thing is going to have good videos this time, since there is no onboard video driver for this particular machine, which I kind of find weird, but uh, oh well. Now this thing will reboot after the drivers are installed which is what I wanted to do because that's when the driver starts to run smoothly on this uh, computer. Hmm. Yep, here we go. I'm just gonna say okay. Usually this thing will do it on its own, but I'm gonna say okay, I'm gonna let the computer reboot itself. Yes. Because I want the driver to be installed. I want this computer to be running and then that's it. We'll be chopping along. Well, that's it. Pretty much the driver is installed. Now this computer has a graphic card. Now all I gotta do is install all the application and everything. And then this computer will um, probably receive a couple of maybe um, upgrades. I am going to plan to switch to a Pentium D, a dual core, because I had a lot of good luck with them. And I think it will do very well with this computer. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an input just to show proof that this thing is running an Intel Pentium 4. Yeah, there we are, Intel Pentium 4. And I'm not a big fan of Intel Pentium 4. I've never been a big fan of them. So I am going to get rid of those processors and I'm going to upgrade to a Pentium D processor and this thing is going to run pretty darn well and then not only that I'm going to sell it off and it will be the end of that computer I mean this computer will relive its life like it did in the old days 
you have any question please leave it in the comment below if you wish to subscribe hit the subscribe button if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Dokus a toxic channel and never miss another video all right bye bye